your leaders refuse to go in this Bible to give you a solution. But right now, today, that time is up. There's no more giving you lies. We're not African. We're not black. We're not Jamaican. We're not from the 12 tribes of Israel. To give a warning. We're not judging you, we're warning you. What have we seen any change? Have we seen anything that has changed our people? Changed our neighborhoods? Four. Uh, right, give, yeah, give me that, give me that. Right. Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me that you should do so in the land whether you go to possess it. So God is saying that his, get 2 Samuel chapter 10 verse 4. So God is saying that his, his people, which are the Israelites, were giving law, giving laws to conduct ourselves. No, I'm gonna touch on something. It's one of the main fashions that our young men do today. And I'm gonna show you that in the Bible, how it was considered in the Bible. You got that? Read that. 2 Samuel chapter 10 and verse 4. Wherefore, Hanun took David's servant. So this is one of your forefathers, King David, right? And shaved off the one half of their beard, Three. and cut off their garments in the middle, even to their buttocks. So what happened here was that these, this man took King David's servants, your forefathers, and cut off their garments to the buttocks, meaning their buttocks were exposed. Right. Let's see, let's see how, King, how this was viewed in the Bible and sent them away. When they told it unto David, he sent to meet them, uh -huh. because the men were greatly ashamed. So the Bible is telling us, when our young men walk around with their buttocks exposed, it's a great shame. What? Meaning you're more than that. So why, why, why do our young men walk around with their buttocks exposed? Uh, let me ask you this. Do you know where that comes from? You know, the prison system. So why would you conduct yourself from a behavior that's picked up in prison when God says you're royalty? Right, bring it out. What do you, what do you think you should do right now with your pants? Think about it. You got two women behind you, brother. That's sorry. You shouldn't be, that's disrespectful to the women. We are royalty, we should act like royalty. That's right. right. You understand that? Get me a uh, First Kings 2 and 2. Because you're a young man, you go to high school, right? I'm gonna show you something because in America, America doesn't allow the black man to grow up. But I'm going to show you what causes us to grow up as a people. Bring it up. I'm going to show you how you're going to grow up real quick in God's laws. Read that. First Kings chapter 2 and verse 2. Uh -huh. I go the way of all the earth. Uh -huh. Be thou strong therefore and show thyself a man. Read. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God Read. to walk in his ways. Read. To keep his statutes and his commandments so god is saying the way for a young man to become a real man is to keep the commandments that's how you show god you love him and that's how you show your people that you're down for them down for down for the cause now let me ask you this you go to high school bring it out you got a girlfriend you don't have a girlfriend that's good you shouldn't be having a girlfriend you shouldn't be having a girlfriend you, you gotta in order for you to get a wife you must prove that wife you must prove that woman first you understand that let me ask you this now. Do you smoke? 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Bring it up. Let me ask you this. When you take too hard of a puff of smoke, what happens to you? I'll smoke cigarettes. You smoke weed, same difference. Smoke enters your lungs, right? What happens when too much smoke enters your lungs? You choke, right? So why would you choke off something, off something like that? Bring it up. What do you think your body is trying to tell you? What, do you think the smoke should be in your lungs? Is what I'm getting at. Well, no, I don't choke. You don't choke. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not being specific with you, Ishmael. I'm talking about in general. When we put smoke in our lungs, is that good for our body? It's not good for our body. That's why we cough because our body is rejecting that smoke. So we're gonna read one of the laws of God that touch on keeping your body clean. Read that. First Corinthians chapter three verse sixteen. Read. Know ye not? 
that ye are the temple of God? So Ishmael, God is telling you that as his holy son, as an Israelite from the tribe of Levi, your body is the temple of God. Right. Right? right? Read. And that the spirit of God dwelleth in you? The spirit of God, Ishmael, is supposed to dwell in your body. Read. If any man defile the temple of God. So if you're putting things in your body that does not belong in there, weed smoke, if you're getting drunk, if, if you're, you're eating pork, shrimp, swine, lobster, if you're putting things in your body that is not meant to be in there, this is what God says. Him shall God destroy. God is saying he will destroy you. Right. That's why what people get throat cancer, but they got to breathe through the tube like you see on TV. I wish I should have stopped smoking. That's what happens to us as a people. Bring it up. Because we smoke. Judgment. That's judgment from the Most High God. That's why we get AIDS and gonorrhea in our communities. Because when you're going from woman to woman to woman, you're disrespecting your temple. You're defiling your temple also. When you eat unclean food, yes, go. What... Because we're defiling our temple. But the main one we're dealing with for you is the smoking. Don't you gotta you gotta cut that out, bro? Cut out the weed. It's not good for you. What, what'd you say? Come a little close, I can't hear you. Yes, sir, all right. Get Titus chapter 2, verse 2. All praises that you understand that, Ishmael. All praises. That's right. And understand that this is not hatred. I don't want you to walk away and think we're judging you. Right. I'm, we're showing you what, what you need to do to get to the kingdom of heaven. That's right. Because we also used to do it. Right. We did those things. So, But we're, we have to learn the Bible and realize the Bible is talking about us. We are the children of Israel. Right. And that as the children of Israel, we must keep God's laws right. to get out of this. Because when we didn't keep God's laws, this is what happened. Right. Hold, hold these two signs up real quick, soldiers. Yeah, no, get, um, get Titus, get Titus 2 first, and then I'll get that. Because this is the result of us breaking God's laws. Everything that you see here is documented in the Bible. Right. We can prove that. All of this confirms that we are the children of Israel. We are the people of the book. That's right. right. But in America, they said that we're Haitians, right. West Indians, Jamaicans, right. Dominicans, right. Uh, Puerto Ricans, American blacks, African right. Americans. But God called us the Israelites. That's right. right. And these curses, these things that happened to us, were put upon us to let us know who we are as a people in these last days. Right. So get that Titus chapter 2, verse 2. Titus chapter 2 and verse 2. That the age men be sober. See that? God commands that the men be sober, be sober minded. I Meaning you have to be clear of thought. You can't have weed in your you can't have weed in your lungs and in your body defiling your thoughts and clouding your judgment. You gotta be sober because understand that. Lord's will, you you really come in, you really get serious and you come into the fold. Because we have a big job to do. Our people need young brothers like you to stand up and make a change. We need That's examples right. as a people. Right. And you could be the start of that change. Let me ask you this. When you're in school, you see, do you, where do you go to school, by the way? San Lucius? Okay. Do you see fights at school now and then? Do you see drugs and weed smoking going on at school and stuff? Do you see, do you, you see young women doing things with young men that they shouldn't be doing? You, do you see uh, homosexuality at school? Who do you meet, see the main people doing these things to each other? Bring it the up. people on this side? That's why you have to be the example to show the people at school that there's a better way to live. That's, right. That's why you have to realize that you are an Israelite from the tribe of Levi right. and show them that these are the things that happened to us because we broke God's laws. Right. The Christian church won't tell you this. The school system won't tell you this. But your brothers on the street corner are going to tell you, thus saith the Lord, whether you like it or not. Ecclesiastes chapter 11 and verse 9. Rejoice, O young men, and thy youth, and let thy heart cheer thee in the days of thy youth. So, let, so if you choose to say to hell with everything we're saying, God is saying, go ahead, live it up, do what you want to do. The, the sky is the limit. Do what you want to do. Read. And walk in the ways of thine heart. And in the sight of thine eyes, but know thou for that for all these things God will bring thee into judgment. So God is saying, if you decide to go off and do as you please, just remember, He's going to bring every action you do into judgment. If you decide you want to continue hitting that blunt, God is going to bring that into judgment. If you decide you want to start getting a girlfriend and sleeping around at 16 years old, God is going to bring that into judgment. You might slip, you might mess around. 
get some sister pregnant at 16 and know you're held on for the rest of your life. Right. And you don't want that for yourself, right? You don't want that. Yeah, I see the look on your face. Hell no, I don't want that. But what must you do? Keep God's commandments. That's right. Start to be the change. Read, that, that's it on that? Re read on. Therefore, remove sorrow from thy heart and put, and put away evil from thy flesh. For childhood and youth are vanity. Meaning God don't care. God don't care whether you're 46 or 16. If he feels the need is time to put you to death, he's going to put you to death. Right. And that's the God that we serve. That's the God of the Bible. Not the cookie cutter God that you read about in the Christian church, that you hear about in the Christian church, that doesn't care what you do. The God of this Bible is not afraid to put you to death. Understand that, Ishmael. So, you have any questions? Titus 2. Titus 2? Get that. Titus chapter 2 and verse 6. Young men likewise, exhort to be sober-minded. God had to write that twice. Exhort to be sober-minded. Make an effort to be sober-minded, meaning stay off the weed. Don't smoke the weed. So, I, we told you that all of this is documented in the, documented in the Bible. Let's, let's show you that real quick. So you can understand the severity, the seriousness of, what, of, the, of this Bible. And understand that it's not a joke. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 45. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 45. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. So this is Moses in the wilderness. You've heard about the history of Moses? You heard about him before, right? This is Moses playing mediator between the Most High God and the children of Israel. He's giving the Israelites a message from God. He's saying, read that again. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee. So he's saying all of these curses, all of these evil things shall come upon you as a people and pursue you, meaning anywhere you go, they're going to follow you and you're going to be powerless to stop it. You understand that? So get verse 60. Let's get to the point. So you 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 said you did they didn't tell you how you came over here as a people right they didn't tell you that okay let me show you i'm gonna show you an image and i'm gonna ask you if you've seen ever seen anything like this before you've never seen an image like this before in school they've never shown you anything like this so what do you celebrate every february what do we celebrate in school no not valentine's day see this black history month and they've never shown you this in school Okay, but well, I'm gonna show you this. This is your history. I want, come closer. Come closer. These are your people. These are your ancestors. They, they were, we were put on cargo slave ships and scattered throughout the earth. You see right here where it says Negroes? That's one of the names that they call us in slavery. All right. The slave trade, it says right here, the slave trade was Bible prophecy. They took us from the west coast of Africa and took us to the Americas. And that's documented in the Bible. To Haiti, to Jamaica, to South America, all over the world, we were scattered as a people because we broke God's commandments. Right. So read that, Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So God is saying, remember the Israelites just came out of Egypt, but God is giving a message through Moses that you Israelites are going to go into Egypt again. So let's find out what Egypt means, Ishmael. Deuteronomy chapter 5 and verse 6. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. So Egypt means the house of bondage. Another right. word for bondage, Ishmael, is slavery. Right. God is saying, I'm going to take you Israelites back into slavery again. Bring it over. Back to Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Into slavery. Again. A second time, but this time, the mode of transportation is going to be different, Ishmael. With ships. With what? With ships. And that's what you see documented here on this sign. From the west coast of Africa, we were put onto cargo slave ships and scattered to the Americas. That happened to us in history. And that's one of the curses that God said would be a sign to identify who the Israelites are in the last days. Right. Read, finish that out. 
by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And we would never see our homeland again. That's the it that is talking about. Our homeland is Jerusalem. Right. That's where we come from. And we've not seen Jerusalem since we've been here in America. Read. And there. And there, once you get off in these different locations, Charleston, Baltimore, Haiti, Puerto Rico, Cuba, Jamaica, uh, uh, Bahia, Brazil, Rio de Janeiro. Once you get to these different locations. And there ye shall be so unto your enemies. Unto your friends. Unto your enemies. So God is saying that the people that did this to you are your enemies. Right. Do you think the so oh, the white man is your friend? You don't think you don't think that, right? God is saying that they are your enemies. Right. And you should never trust them. Read. For bond man, for slave man, and bond woman, and slave women, and no man shall buy you. No man shall buy you, meaning no man shall redeem you. Toussaint Louverture failed. He tried his best, but he failed. Uh, what, what's, what was his right man hand's name? Right hand man's name? Henri uh, Christophe. He failed. Dessalines. Failed. Uh, Martin Luther King. Tried. Failed. Why? Because the only savior we have is the, is the black messiah, Jesus the Christ. That's, right. That's who's going to deliver us out of this slavery that we, found ourselves, we find ourselves into. And it starts with young men like you picking up the, picking up the fight, repenting, learning your nationality, and keeping God's laws and joining the fight. That's right. You have to be the change. What you got? Psalms 94? Yeah, get that. So Ishmael, I pray you repent. I pray you don't just let this go in one ear, out the other. You got a flyer? You got a flyer? Okay, all praise that you got a flyer. You know, just to recap before you leave, what did you learn? You can put the down, sign down, soldier. Just to recap. You need to change your ways, okay? And it starts with what? Stop smoking weed. You learn what else? Who's your Lord and Savior? What does he look like? He's a black man. And you learn that. What's your, what's your nationality? If someone asks you what's your nationality, what, what would you say? You're a Levite. That's right. You're a Levite from the nation of Israel. That's All right. praises to the most that you understand that. All praises. So, last scripture before you go. Just to remember, we need young men like you. That's right. Read this. Psalms chapter 94, verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evil doer? So God is asking you the question, Ishmael. Who's going to rise up for me against the evil doers? Not the evil doers that did this to us. God is going to deal with them. The evil doers of our own people. Right. Who's going to rise up and tell the black woman to stop wearing pants? Right. Who's going to raise up and tell the black man to stop selling drugs to his people? Right. Stop shooting down his people? Right. Stop baking, making baby mamas out of his people? Right. Who's going to rise up for me against the evil doers? Or who will stand up for me against the walkers of iniquity? Read. Unless the Lord had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in, in silence. Okay, so understand that Ishmael we need young men like you to pick up the fight understand that you have any questions at all all right repentance is the key brother shalom this is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ please subscribe to our YouTube channels stay up to date with our latest events music and classroom lessons IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org